Hello, my name is Adam. I'm the Master Electrician at Horizon Energy. Today we're going to discuss a few things so that you get a good understanding of, of what we do when we do a ground mount system. So today we're going to talk about tying into the power and how we do that. Where does the inverter go? The, do we need a disconnect? What do pilings look like? What is a piling? How are these supported all by themselves? And what is necessary when we design a ground mount system? So first question we have to ask is, where's the main power supply coming from? How are we getting power to our inverter? So this inverter is gonna be at the array location, which is very important to know when we're designing these. In this situation, we have a farm splitter. And when we do our designs, and when we're doing our initial survey stages, we need to know, does this meter have a way of shutting down and us tapping into? And those, these farm splitters allow multiple lugs to come in here so we have AC access alternating current so we can actually go right to the panel. So in this situation, we had a minimal size trench, part of the initial surveys. Today we tied in a tech cable here and we're going to our disconnect and from the disconnect, a small jumper over to our inverter. From the inverter, we can actually run our PV wire to our array. So we have two strings, 18 panels here. So we're about 7.2 kilowatts of DC production, but this is a very important and vital part of your information. Electrically, where are we tapping into? The house panel? Or is there a farm splitter with you know lugs that we can get into? And we have eight pilings, steel pilings that are compacted into the ground until they get compaction value. So that means just when we get enough resistance that it was able to you know take the threshold of the weight. Once the pilings are in, then we can start building the actual frame. We put the steel plates on top of them with couplings. And then from there, we have bolts that support the actual base. And these are all uh, screwed in with uh, stainless bolts and they have torque ratings. So we get that done and that will actually start the support structure from the base. And then we go up with the vertical on the backside. And so we have eight pilings. So we'll have the eight uh, main support structures. And these are the horizontal rails, which are actually the ones that hold the panels. So these four rails that go across horizontally will have the actual end clamps, mid clamps, which will support the uh, panels. These black uh, boxes that you see on the horizontal rails are called optimizers. Those get tied into each panel. And from there, they link. And one string will feed, in this circumstance, nine panels. Uh, there are two strings in this uh, system, 18 panels. So in this circumstance, today we are at the meter disconnect that has a farm splitter. Though that was what we were talking about earlier when we had uh, tapping right into the actual power supply. That power supply is not protected by a breaker, so we actually have to provide a, an AC disconnect at the array location. Because we are doing uh, inverter and disconnect underneath the panels, we have to build some kind of support structure. Today we're using Cantrus, and we're gonna mount this disconnect on the side on these rails, and this is what is gonna protect the inverter. So uh, we always work with the client. We, we wanna see uh, where they would like it, because it's gonna be on their property. It is their property. They, they pay for it, so we wanna make sure they're, ha they're happy with the product. This inverter would then go out, and then we would wire our DC right to this location. So what we see different than what we would see on a standard house, or maybe a farm situation, this inverter isn't by the meter. Because that meter has a disconnect, we can put our inverter anywhere, but we have to have power supply to tap back into the grid. So this inverter is not typical. We don't have this, you know, at the meter location at a house. This is, you know, in a different entire scenario. What we see in a normal home, we have to have our rapid shutdown by our meter. And that's why it is so important to ask the questions that we do when we're dealing with a house. Where's your meter? Where's your electrical panel? In this situation where our transformer, our meter was via our array, we were able to tap right into that. 